Hey, you guys are here? I've been waiting for you guys. I got a package. I got a BRS package. And I didn't want to open it by myself. So I was waiting for you guys to come along. Here you are. Let's open up my new BRS package. Right. Zip. Zip. Boom. Alright. What we got in here? Hey, Dr. Tim's 30% off. Uh, hit me up if you want the the code. <laughs> BRS. And what do you know? BRS is going to be at Reefa Palooza Orlando. Who would have guessed? Invoice. And. Ba -ba -da -ba. Senai Reef Monitor. Nothing in there. Don't need that. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, well, nobody does instructions anymore. They got this little, take a picture of this thing, it'll bring you to the right website. Um, they're saying you can use it for PC users, and there's also a, um, a wireless uh, router or a wireless network thing. Makes it Wi Fi, and then you can hit it from any kind of device, apparently, once it's set up. Um, and here is the lens that. The, uh, is it called a lens? Well, it's the thing that helps you track your pH and your ammonia. But I didn't buy it for that. Like most people looking into this, I needed it for a PAR meter. Uh, it's an inexpensive PAR meter that you use along with a Windows laptop. And, uh, you know, it gives you PAR, PER. I think there's even a Lux monitor. But we're going to look at it. It even comes with a suction cup. I believe you can somehow keep this mounted in your tank and it will monitor for you. But again, that's not what I'm all about. Plugs into the USB port. Uh, cord. Cord's just over six feet. My wingspan is six feet. So, yeah, you got about a seven foot cord maybe. I don't know, two meters, who knows. So what do you say we go through setting it up on the laptop and see what we got? Okay guys, um, I don't, I didn't use the little camera thing um, to find a manual. So what I did, I just went to Google here and I'm just gonna type in uh, Senai Reef Manual. There it goes. Device instructions and piece for PC use. Okay. Says a few things. Says welcome to um, Senai Connect app. And if you're going to use it on a PC, to just click on this picture here, that picture there, and then you PC download, and you click on PC download, and it asks you where to put it. I've already done this, so um, hang on, so I can sign in with my password okay I don't know what exactly happened I have it out here on the desktop Senai connect app and let's get in here and it's seeing it we're getting it ready it should be a matter of seconds okay and there it is means it's connected the unit itself is doing this flashy thing and you can see my my bench has a 12 par my shop light <laughs> okay a few things you might want to do when you have a reef tank is go up here to settings or options settings Okay, over here, temperature unit, use Fahrenheit. If you're in the U.S., you'll want to do that. Click OK down here. OK. 
Okay. Now, if you tap, if you double click right on this par rating here, you bring up this big par uh, dashboard without the rest of the stuff. Um, if you're not looking for all the other things that it does and not using the slide, this is probably what you're going to use for par. Now, on here, I haven't read into it too much. We have top, middle, bottom, and free. I guess if it's free, you can move it wherever you want, but this will. T I think what they're doing is telling you in a reef tank this is the um, per that you want for your reef tank. And depending on which area you choose, there's a countdown. I chose top. No, nope, none of that changes. So I'm not sure exactly why it's that top, middle, or bottom. I'm going to do free. Oh, look at that. Enter name of the reading, and you can you can apparently adjust it to certain corals, like blue acropora. Right, let's shoot for middle of the tank, because most of my corals are at the middle of the tank. Now, it doesn't come with any kind of stick. In other words, you come with this long cord. I have this tool that I got from Amazon. Let's see. It's this long tool. You've seen Rico using it. It's telescoping. It comes with all these different tips. Um, this tip is probably used for a planted tank to help root things. Uh, a bunch of other tips it comes with. Uh, almost unusable yet net. I don't know, unless you guys got real little fish. And then it comes with this handle. And you can either put like a scraper on it. Or this rake um, got it on Amazon fairly cheap so I'll even leave a link to that in the description in case you want to find one because that's what I'm going to use to hold this center I figure I will use this bent angle piece here wire tie that on and we'll be reading so hang on let me get it set up and we'll move over to the tank and take a few uh, par readings okay guys I'm not sure how uh, usable this setups gonna be but I'm basically going to put the bar meter in and you might be able to see where I'm at in the tank and you may be able to read what's on the screen. So let's give it a shot. All right. So I've just got it stuck on with this uh, wire tie onto this angled device. I'll hold the cord taut and we'll go right in there. I'll go down to about where my corals are right now. This was a good hot spot. Yeah. And I can't see the bar meter. Can you? Looks like right about where my acros are growing. It's uh, around 200, I guess. It's kind of a bad setup for me, guys. <laughs> now, this is my Mars Aqua Lights running 100% on the blue channel and about 20% on the um, full spectrum channel. I also have some blue actinic T5s on right now. Um, so let's move around, see if the number changes. Now this is about where BRS said their Mars Aqua Light or their Chinese Black Box Light had a hot spot. So I'm hovering around this area and uh, let's see if I can see anything. No, not getting that crazy hot spot. Could have been because they were running it at 100% and some, you know, had a little crazy LED on there. It wasn't like 100%. But, so I'm moving around the tank. Let's go down to my sand bed, see what it looks like down there. Sure, it says it's 200 at my sand. I doubt that. It's 1:45. I could be doing something wrong. What you guys think? 112 on my sand. All right, let's come on up to the top. See if my coral started to grow, or even somewhere up on these frag racks that I have in here. 
just below the water surface. It's looking like I'm hitting around 500 at the water surface. So, as you can see, they're estimated per on this screen. Um, not even close to anything in the red color. So, I may have to turn up the white channel a little bit, but as far as par, you know, light energy, I have a lot of brightness, but I may not have the right, um, you know, spectrum. So, over here is a different light made by a different manufacturer with more red. Oh. What was that all about? I don't know if you guys saw that, but Fox Face is going crazy. Hope this thing's not electrocuting my tank. <laughs> okay, down where this digitata is. I'm at about 350. Over by the bird's nest. It's still 240. Let's go down where the anemone is. See what that says. The clowns aren't going to be happy about it. Still 200. So I can try and tune in these lights, see if I can get the par numbers a little, or the per a little better. Because I'm going by this slope, and I, I just got this thing. I think I would want my line to bend back up over in this area, too. Is this suggested for a reef tank, or is this just giving you a, you know, what are we trying to hit here? So these are questions I have. You know, I've had a par meter here for a couple of hours. Okay, down in the fuge, uh, you'll notice I have a 42 watt or 48 watt, I forget, par 38 bulb with red and blue in it and uh, you see this chato is just one big block in this whole section of the fuge so I'm gonna see what's hitting the top of this chato with this just gonna stick it right so it's wet in the water and I'm seeing 500 par okay so you can see what that's looking like right there. I don't have a UFO hooked up. Um, my homemade LED lights that are over here in the back. Believe it or not, it's only looking like a couple of par. Let's see. Yeah, those signage lights, they're growing chato. I make them for fuge lights, and they're actually right against the glass. But it's not doing much at all for my, uh, for my dragon's breath. But it is still growing back there. So, um, first impressions on the Senai Reef Monitor. Easy to install. Um, pretty easy to use. You can come up with a stick it makes your life easier keep your hands out of the tank it's very important um, how accurate and well I guess I got to do a little homework on it and see exactly if I'm using it right but that's what I got out of it you know 10 minutes into it well maybe a little longer uh, funny story when I went to turn on the um, the page you have to make a Senai page for yourself somebody's already using Dave's nano tanks Imagine the nerve of that. Um, I, I understand if your name's Dave and you have a small aquarium. Go with Dave's small aquarium. I'm Dave's Nano Tanks. Signing off. See you guys on the live stream. Thanks for watching.